اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولقد فجرنا الارض عیونا فالتق الماء علا امر قد قدر وحملنا ولا ذات الواہ و دسر تجریب عیوننا جزاء لمن کانا کفر ولقد احلقنا اشیاءکم فحل میں مدکر فکیفا کانا عذابی و نظر ولقد یسرنا القرآن لذکر فحل میں مدکر صدق اللہ علی العظیم فرسٹ ایر کلاس لیکچر نمبر ٹوانٹی وان میکنیزم آف انزائم ایکشن ہاو دا انزائمز ورک بکاس انزائمز میتھوڈالوجی انزائمز اناٹمی انزائم فنکشن ایز ای میڈیکل پروفیشنلز یو ویل بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ وی ویل بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا پیشنٹ وی ویل بی we will be able to understand the medicines because medicines are discovered by studying enzymes even coronavirus the current coronavirus if you want to control coronavirus there, there is a enzyme like reverse transcriptase in retrovirus which is aids virus the scientists are studying that enzyme because that enzyme change virus um, a virus into rna virus into dna virus in our white blood cell that aid virus is causing infection in our body and if we want to finish that virus if we want to develop vaccination against that coronavirus we need to control the enzyme living things not us even parasites they are doing multiplying due to enzyme we just do by medicines we disrupt their enzymatic activity if we will understand that their enzymes normally we say we are studying coronavirus we are investigating coronavirus how it technically we are studying their metabolic activities inside technically we are we are studying their uh, their uh, anabolic their anabolism and the catabolism and the enzymes which are used in the catabolism and the anabolism if that enzymes we will control which are working in coronavirus in the host we are able to control that virus and that enzyme which is causing disease like lipid catabolism is not present in the patient of T-Sash if you will give drug to develop the enzyme which can break the lipid into fatty acid and the glycerol that patient will be right man your all pharmacology is surrounding around enzymes systems are surrounding around enzyme and digestive system if these enzymes these enzymes are digesting the food and they are changing the large molecules into small molecules so in the saliva of course they're providing the liquid medium but the technical enzyme in our oral cavity that amylase amylase will not work and also i will tell you that amylase can work in basic medium so enzymes are specific they can work in specific condition these are upcoming information we go to enzyme action because i was telling that in the last lecture in the next lecture i will tell you about enzyme action look here you what happening e mean enzyme s means substrate they both combine they both combine this is enzyme and this is the substrate substrate come substrate come and then the active site come and active site substrate combine with active site substrate combine with active site substrate combined with active site substrate combined with active site what will happen when substrate combined with active site it will form es complex it will form the es complex es complex will be formed and that es complex that es complex will be formed here and similarly if you will see this one again I am talking about this one this is the enzyme and that is the active site and active site and enzyme active site needs substrate to convert substrate to product substrate combine here and then cofactor if this enzyme ha need help this is the point if cofactor this enzyme need cofactor will attach if cofactor is not required for this enzyme this enzyme will not need cofactor without cofactor it will change substrate this substrate this substrate into the pro 
into the product. We we'll go back. This is an enzyme. Students, you are watching. This is very easy now. Enzyme because you learned a difficult thing. This is easier for you. Enzyme, and then they react with substrate to form ES complex. ES complex enzyme substrate complex. When ES complex is formed. After some, th after some time, enzyme will be separated. That is our uh, catalyst because that will be used for another chemical reaction and that will not be consumed. That is the point. And product which is our output that will be formed. I tell you these things, I tell you these things by using this figure. If you use this figure and uh, I will also use that figure which you will see and you will be able to use enzyme action enzymes react with substrate to form the es complex okay substrate combined with enzyme to form es complex this is the es complex what happened next this site is called as this site is called as allosteric site this is called as active site active site who attached with active site who attached with active site substrate attached with active site this red color molecule is called as this red molecule is a cofactor this red molecule is called as a cofactor and then what happens the product substrate changes into products the white color is a product enzyme will be separated cofactor will be separated and the product will be separated reaction completed mechanism of enzyme action take place by this way so this is the word I was discussing. Prosthetic group is the type of cofactor which attach with active site. Remember, all enzymes don't need help as normally some students I was telling you that they don't need help even if the tuition and they just get the lectures of the teachers and they revise the things at the home or in the college or then they do the prep and they become very intelligent. Some students are even teaching, learning tuition and they are going here and there, they are using notes. They are using handbooks still they are not getting good marks and they are not much intelligent and they are not learning the lessons properly. Some students just paying attention towards the textbook and just listening the lectures from the teachers and they pay attention. They are very intelligent. Some enzymes can work alone. They don't need cofactors. The example I am giving you. And some enzymes need cofactors. Some enzymes need cofactors. They need tuition. They need handbook. They need uh, uh, some guess. They are, they are always thinking about the gas. Which type of the questions will come in examination, sir? Because they knew that they can't they can't prepare all lesson. So therefore, students, cofactors will help enzymes. Cofactor will help enzymes. And what are the cofactors? They are of three types. One type is written here. I told you, prosthetic group. Prosthetic group is the is the cofactor which attach with the active site by which bond? Covalent bond covalent bond it means this is more stronger bond ionic bond is a stronger bond but i am not comparing covalent bond with ionic bond i am i am comparing covalent bond with the weak positive negative forces which are present in the in which group of cofactors coenzyme activators have no competition with the prosthetic group because activators are not going to attach with active side they will form the es complex without attachment so three type of cofactors, one is prosthetic group, they will attach with the active side and they will form, you, they, you will use this word in the paper, they will form the covalent bond. We we'll go back the next one, next one and important one, coenzyme. Closely related with the prosthetic group, closely related with the prosthetic group, it will also attach with active site but weak linkage will be present they will have the weak linkage between them the weak linkage will be present in the coenzyme weak linkage now i think uh, uh, everything is clear three type of cofactors factors you remember now and you can write easily activators they are not attached with active site and without attachment without attachment they facilitate attachment of substrate and active site. This is the question, sir, without attachment, how they help in it? Uh, if they will not attach with the active site, how they help uh, uh, of the attachment with the, of the substrate with the active site? Actual problem in the mechanism of enzyme action, actual issue is that you have to attach this substrate with active site. So these cofactors actually 
uh, all type of uh, mechanism of enzyme actions uh, facilitate attachment of substrate with active site by various factors by various factors and you know uh, detachable cofactor are activators how they help they have charges key thing that activators like metallic ions zinc ion copper ion iron f ferrous ion ferrous iron 2 iron 3 ferric they facilitate attachment of the substrate with the active site attachment of the substrate with the active site substrate will attach with active site automatically es complex will be formed and charges will help charges will help will help you see this thing which i am telling you now look here this is active site you have a point sir why this special substrate attach with the special active site my question you are listening why this special substrate mean x attach with the x active site mean there are various enzymes many enzymes some have y active site some have z i am just supposing the names but names are not but i will tell you the enzymes are different some are z some are m some are n why x go into x why b go into b why c go into c what is the reason that point i will tell you students look here if you will see this one this is the active site and in this active site positive charge positive charge positive charge positive charge okay i make it again i will make it again i want to decrease the pointer size as well because i will show by different this is positive charge positive charge positive charge right positive charge positive charge positive charge right now this is active side this is substrate substrate okay substrate at minus 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 these when substrate will come here these minus will attach with these positive these minus will attach with these positive and these minus plus will be in a special special manners just in a manner they are just opposing each other just like that if one side plus and other side is minus one side is a plus one side uh, plus it is a minus if there is a negative there is a plus if there is a negative here is also negative that substrate will not fit into this active site it means this substrate do did not do not belong to this enzyme so charges in the active sites are important these charges adjust actual its own substrate they are friends they attach themselves due to positive and the negative charges due to the force of attraction between the positive and the negative charges it means charges in the amino now once again you will ask one question sir you were telling sequence of amino acid is very important here are amino acid because this is active site and uh, active site mean amino acid here is the amino acid and amino acids are present and these uh, amino acids these amino acids amino acids uh, i want to okay ji this is active site and these are amino acid one amino acid another amino acid another amino acid another amino acid and these amino acid peptide bond between them they are very sensitive i will give answer these amino acids all are causing the charges due to these amino acids the charges are present i give you structure of amino acid carbon carbon attach with nitrogen nitrogen attach with hydrogen and these are two hydrogens and then come back to c double c another carbon this is c double bond o o h acid group acid group clear i i tell you again this is carbon right side also carbon left side nitrogen with hydrogen polar bond so amino acids are polar why polar at one side acid group c double bond o o h at one side nit ammonia amino group partial negative charge partial positive charge and these partial negative these partial positive charge are present where 
inside active site they are present inside active site they are present and they will adjust suitable substrate that's why specific active site can attach with a specific substrate specific active site can attach with a specific substrate so these were the coenzymes i told you these are the coenzymes weak linkage in this active site the weak linkage so what is enzymes they are composed of protein what is protein it is composed of amino acid difference between protein and amino acid protein is a polymer amino acid is a monomer what are monomer small molecules are called monomer large molecule is called polymer how the monomers change into polymer monomers combine mean small molecules combine to form large molecule mean polymer mean protein and water molecule will be released process name is condensational polymerization two forms of protein ribosomes form protein why ribosomes why protein why protein is necessary because protein is essential part of enzymes why enzymes are necessary because enzyme catalyze all chemical reaction not in the human body in the plants in the virus in the bacteria in all animal in all living thing virus is almost non living still enzymes are important because virus become effective only in the host and virus is only doing its activity harmful activity because of enzyme i gave you enzyme name of eight virus which uh, eight virus story is very uh, strange a stoti guard uh, come to house and uh, uh, technically uh, internally he is a thief but he came um, with the cloth of stoti guard he changed his um, physical look and he playing well that i am your stoti guard and come stoti company told me that i have to take care of your home and you will allow the stoti guard to enter into your home. similar thing virus did similar thing virus did you know similar thing virus did aids virus aids virus is rna virus aids virus is rna virus i will tell you rna dna virus later on you have idea i think so so nucleus of white blood cell which is a control center of white blood cell lymphocyte it has special order from the brain that over enemy is rna virus aid virus retrovirus onco virus cancer virus let don't let them to enter into our body so what the virus do virus knows that they will not allow us to enter into cockpit cockpit mean nucleus how will we will control the pilot mean nucleus how we will control the biochemical machinery of the nucleus so what they did nature gave them reverse transcriptase two enzymes reverse trans reverse 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 mean they are changing their sex no they are changing rna virus to dna virus they become dna virus happily they enter through door cd4 receptor site of the house mean white blood cell happily they enter it through nuclear membrane happily enter into nuclear membrane happily they enter into nuclear membrane and by this way by this way they are able to perform their functions mean retrovirus is so important retrovirus retrovirus so important that they cause uh, aid they cause cancer in the human just because of that reverse transcriptase so coenzyme i am talking about so third one was third one who are the cofactors what are the cofactors third one activators activators they are the activators you can see activator so they are the activators we we'll go back to two type of enzymes then i will finish upcoming uh, uh, informations um, two information i will give you more apo enzyme holo holo enzyme here here is confusion what is the confusion normally we think normally we think that uh, apo enzyme are the enzymes uh, with uh, out prosthetic group apo enzyme is the enzyme with out prosthetic group without prosthetic group but this is not enzyme this is not that type of enzyme which don't need cofactor you are understanding i have to okay one enzyme can work alone no need of help clear one enzyme need help when enzyme need help one enzyme need help one enzyme don't need help don't need help one enzyme need help the enzyme which don't need help the enzyme which don't need help the enzyme which don't need help i am not talking about this type of enzyme i am talking about this type of enzyme which need help which help cofactors 
if you will remove cofactors this is a confusion normally students think this enzyme this enzyme can work properly even cofactors are given or are cofactors are not given so if enzymes if enzymes are working if enzymes are working with cofactors those enzymes cofactor those type of enzymes which need cofactors their cofactors is removed are removed or mechanically removed by someone or due to disease cofactor is removed so what will happen this enzyme this enzyme just hold on we do this one so this enzyme work with cofactor okay i remove cofactor i remove cofactor this is apo enzyme this is apo enzyme i am slow i was slow because i wanted to give you a a precious concept here when you will remove the cofactor from the enzyme of that enzyme which cannot work without cofactor i will remove the cofactor from that enzyme which can which which can not work without cofactor i will not remove from the enzyme which can work without cofactor because there is no cofactor in that enzyme the enzyme which is working without cofactor that is not the apo enzyme holo enzyme the enzyme which work with the help of cofactor that will be divided into two type apo enzyme holo enzyme you remove cofactor without cofactor is this enzyme will be able to work no because it need help cofactor cofactor remove apo enzyme you give cofactor and you give cofactor enzyme start working enzyme started to work enzyme started to work this is the enzyme holo enzyme so one is apo enzyme one is apo enzyme one is apo enzyme one is apo enzyme one is holo enzyme the enzyme when you will remove the cofactor when you will remove the cofactor enzyme will be called as apo enzyme apo enzyme will be able to catalyze the chemical reaction no enzyme will be able to form the es complex no is this that enzyme which can work without cofactor no this is the enzyme which cannot work without cofactor what is the evidence this apo enzyme is unable to form es complex so what other enzyme do which work without cofactor which is also without cofactor he will do es complex he will form es complex why he is able to form es complex why apo enzyme is unable to form es complex because enzymes are divided into two groups some enzymes need help some enzymes do not need help the enzymes who need help enzymes who need help the enzymes who need help they need cofactors they need cofactors if their cofactors will not be present like apo enzyme they will not be able to form es complex similarly holo enzyme yes these are the enzymes which can work with help of cofactors and they are very happy because they have their own friend what is the name of the friend cofactors three type activators prostatic group and the coenzyme we will continue and now upcoming sessions um, will tell us that enzymes work in a chain this is not the one enzyme this is a team just like a team work just like 11 players are playing and they are helping each other in a football match or cricket match and if one player will not work properly the uh, one all the actions will damage <coughs> they work in a chain and each enzyme has its own duty you will do this thing you will you will be at the uh, you will you are bowler you are fielder and you are the batsman you will you are planner you are captain all enzymes are allocating themselves in a team work this is a team work that is that will constitute the feedback mechanism which i am going to tell you in the upcoming session